Did I say we only want to cotton out here? Because I just remembered there's other specialized things that we might need. Such things as coffee, which I can grow here, or cocoa, which I can't or don't need yet. So, yeah, I believe there's going to be more we need. Not tortilla though. Nor beer. God, why is everyone so keen on beer? It really makes things difficult for me. Alright, so let's start with the coffee, actually. Coffee would be nice to have, but we don't have enough people for it. So we'll wait and see what the food might do. Or oh, let's build a few more houses, because why not? we still got some space, still got some planks. Yes, we will look at the newspaper in just a moment, my good friend. Let's see. Oh, wow. Financial powerhouse. Positive credit balance. Yes. Earthly paradise. Are starting to get sick. And special guest comes bearing gift. Yes. More people coming. That's looking good for us. Really? Come on, don't be surprised. We rarely ever change anything. And if we do, it's kind of almost always everything. What was I about? Yes. Let's have... We're just going to plant the coffee here. We're not going to actually... Oh, no. This island is going to be too small for all the things that we can only have here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we might have to go against my deepest wishes and possibly, oh god, buy resources. That almost hurts saying out loud, buying resources. Okay, let's build out here as much as we can. So maybe we can, nope, we're not going to be able to fit anything here. That's just not a lot of space out here. Okay, we want someone to bring all the cotton fabric and all the coffee beans back to the main island. This is what we're going to do here. I don't believe we need the cotton, actually. I think we only need the cotton fabric. Both in the old world and the new. Let's check. Yeah, only need the cotton fabric, so that's fine. Just going to have fabric built. Okay, we're getting stuff. Let's see. Massage in a bottle. Okay, we got a few things to take care of this, which is nice. Castaways request your help, but where could they be? Shark baiting is a common distraction for your sailors, but their latest catch provided much more entertainment than expected. In its belly was a bottle, and in the bottle there were three sheets of paper, each a copy of the same message in a different language. Piercing, piecing together the documents to make up for their weathered content, the crew can make out a call for help and the latitude, but nothing more. Well, <laughs> let's look at the shark. Maybe we can find some info there. Oh yes, the stomach of the shark reveals its travels. Glittering corals, exotic scales and characteristic fish bones. Your doctors finish the inspection of the shark entrails and confirm your destination to the southern coral barriers. When the ship reaches the correct latitude, several islands litter the horizon. Your crew hesitates to come any closer. The water is shallower than usual and filled with sharp coral reefs. Well, we got a good old pirate, who, who is a former pirate, but he still has his pirate ways, so he might very well know how to navigate such treacherous waters. So let's see. Let's navigate a bit closer there. Oh no, the ship cannot pass the underwater barrier. Despite your navigator's efforts, the ship bumps against the coral reef. The maneuver is too complex and too risky for her. Her being the ship. The crew are forced to turn their backs on the paradisical 
islands. Whether the castaways were real and whether they were indeed stranded here, they will never know. Ah, doesn't that doesn't that give you a sense of adventure and kind of despair as well? Just think of the bounty. Who well, the bounty, the crew of the bounty, they actually stranded on purpose somewhere because they kind of you know mutinied. But in the end, they were taken off the island as well because, the, the, well, not many of them survived. Not the worst, right, let's journey on and see where we go to. The quest book. I don't like that it keeps opening itself. It's, it's kind of obnoxious. Like, hey, 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 remember me? Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm a quest. Hey, remember me? I'm a quest. Do, do you remember me? Do you remember that there's this quest here? Hey, hey, guy, do you... Do you remember that? That quest? Your people are starting to get sick. Okay, let's just have a few of these. Uh, let's build a warehouse smack in the middle. There. Doesn't take away too much. So these should be fine being connected to this. And you need a warehouse connection, uh, a harbor connection. So it should be fine. It should be enough. Now we just need someone to bring all the hide over to the main island. So we're going to set up a route. Trade route from here to here. And we're going to take on all the hide, which there is none of yet. There. Take it all. Take all of it. And unload it out here. And we're going to set the cuttlefish on this. This is going to be fine. Your people are healthy again. Well, that I like to hear. And I do enjoy hearing. Are starting to get sick. That I don't enjoy hearing. God, people are getting sick a lot. And again, some... How do you keep ships from getting sick? I understand. So something in the harbor I can build for that? No. It's not. Let's upgrade you. There's no reason for you to not upgrade. Your people are starting to get sick. Right, okay, let's see how it's with our artisans. I hope you can be reached by some hospital. Is anyone taking care of this? Or is this house smack the one thing that can't be reached from anywhere? Oh no, you're being reached. Thank goodness. But I built something over here which can't be reached. I already see it. So let's move all these houses again. Let's move them away. They get to live around the hospital. <laughs> if they live right next to it, they can't die. That is the recipe for immortality. Right there for you. Live next to the hospital. Okay, let's build some really ugly roads to connect people to everything. Let's have even more ugly roads. Ugly roads. Take me home. West Virginia. Oh, that's actually a lovely little place for a house. Right there on the coast, on the cliffs. Don't you think? Why not? It's quite scenic. Isn't that nice? I mean, you look over on that stinky little island, but I think that's that's quite sweet. The people celebrate your leadership. Yeah. 
because my leadership historically has been absolutely amazing. What's not to celebrate? Can I build something there? Oh, too bad. That would have been really funny. Okay, let's build some some park things here to spruce up the space a bit. But there might be a house that fits here. Nope. So, a park area it shall be. Right there, nestled against the mountain. Let's have it hidden behind a bunch of hedges. Which go around here. Now let's have a junction like this. Let's just build really nice hedges there. Let's build some end pieces. Starting to get sick. God, they are not catching a break, are they? That is just unfortunate. Alright, let's have an angle. That's too much. I want to look after everyone. Oh, that's it's a very sweet sentiment. Use it constructively. My lady. Nope. That's not what I want. That's what I want. Yeah, that's going to be the most beautiful park anyone has ever seen. Here's a little entrance between the hedges. So people actually can go in there. Look, isn't it beautiful? Totally built a park. Well, sort of. Sadly, there's no space to build anything here. It would be a nice place for a statue. And while this happened, probably millions of people died. Let's see who's dying this time. It's probably over here. Nope. Where are people still dying? Oh! We don't have enough workers' clothes? No, we have too much? Boy. I'm really bad at economy. Look at all this overproduction of everything. I have so much flour and so little bread. Where are my bakers? My bakers are here. Um, let's have more bakers then. Nope. I wanted to turn this. So if we go for all that flour, there's no reason not to have all the bread. Really. Especially with the trade union. Giving some bonuses. Maybe we could have a bake over here which still gets a bit of a bonus. We've run out of cabbage. Out of cabbage? Oh yeah. Patrol ships taking. Yeah, <laughs> you thought you were smart. Didn't you? But you're not smart. You're dead. That's the opposite of smart. Somewhat. You were patrolling, weren't you? Why did both of you stop patrolling? What is this? Okay, let's let's patrol this. This amazing huge distance there. <laughs> oh, all the six ships. I just need to keep them away from all the harbors. What was I doing before? I'm losing my train of thought so much in this game. <laughs> oh, there's just so much to do. Oh, I need workers. We are lacking workers, clearly, with all the bakeries I just built. Is this still in the area of EFAC? Cool. 
Let's see if we can get a second one here. Nope, doesn't fit. Right, then upgrade a few farmers so we can have more workers. So we get that shortage out of the way. These two guys. And these four. And these over here. Should be fine now. Right, artisans. Still not entirely happy. Beer is fine now. Sausage. <laughs> canned goods. How are we doing on canned goods and all that we need for them? Canned goods. <laughs> Um, come on. Goulash. Okay, canned food is low. Goulash is low. So we can have more goulash fabrics. Fabricators. Definitely. Can have like two more. One. Yeah, I know I'm building into areas here, but... What can you do? That's industry for you. And let's have another canned goods factory there. That might work. Taking care of that need. Because I want to go beyond artisans. I believe we might need another sausage factory for that too. You guys... Uh, framework knitters, not sausage people. You are sausage people, are you not? Yeah. So these are not really being affected and they're taking up quite a bit of space here. So I'd rather outsource them, move them over to this side. So I can have more industry that is actually positively affected. And why am I not moving you? Hello Discord. Okay, let's move you over here. Build up a road up to there. I'll say we need another firefighter here. Just to be on the safe side. And you get another pig sty ready to go there. And we move you as well up to here. And just rebuild all the pigsties. So now we can have more sausage people and bakers and everything. Which are then going to be positively affected. Can I fit this? Yes. Let's be space efficient. What are you? Are you affected by this? No. Then you get out of my circle, damn you. You go over here to the pigs. And so do you. What? Did I not just do this? There you go. Now let's turn this as well so we can fit more. Are starting to get sick. My people are not sick. How, how dare you? Right, we don't need more of these, but we can have more bakers. So let's have a few more of these. I'm not sure if we're doing too well on, on sausage, on, on pig, actually. Eh. Let's have another pigsty or two. That should fit nicely. Oh no, that, that's not gonna work. Mm, how do we do this? There's a road we can build. So let's get a few more pigsties up and running on the back end here. Let's put it there. There we go. 
All right, uh, next time we'll see if we possibly maybe can upgrade an artisan or two. At some point, it should be possible, really. I mean, really, it should be possible. <laughs>